guys seem to like when I started out the video with the fashion show first. So this is the red dress I chose to, for my birthday message. And this is what inspired me today. And I want to get started and, and tell you, let's bring this, let's do something different, right? Sometimes I'm just trying to feel in different places because it gets boring, right? If I do the same thing over and over again, doesn't that get boring? Okay, so just as in life, we want to spice up things and make things even better, right? From year to year to month to month. And this red dress has been a staple in my closet for so long. Let's, let's first close our eyes. Let's get in the mode of what we need to hear today. I really love this. Lately, I just, I close my eyes and I go, okay, what message do I need to send out to the world today? And not only is it helping me, it seems to be, I've been getting really good feedback on it and it seems to be helping so many people too. And that really blesses my heart because I have been through so much and so many people have been through so much. And if we can find some simple answers to just get some relief, why not? And for me, it's just as simple as waking up when I want and breathing. So let's do, let's do three sets of breathing really quick, okay? This can be maybe my new mantra. Maybe I'll need to do a, a beginning of the screen, breathe or something, I don't know. Um, so anyway, let's go. All the way to the top. Release. Gosh, that's a miracle. Stand up straight. Okay, breathe all the way to the top. Make a noise if you want, scream if you want, or just do it silently. And what we're doing is we're calming our mind, calming our spirit, and just getting ready to just learn something today. Okay. So you guys, I am 50. Five. What? Every year I, I, I do a birthday message. And every year since I turned in my 40s, I have had this feeling of, oh no, like that feeling of dread, you know, like, oh no, I'm, I'm getting older. Oh no. But then something happened in my early 40s. It really gave me a different perspective on life in general and a different outlook on my, oh no, greedy self saying, oh my gosh, I'm getting older. Now all of a sudden things come into perspective like, oh my gosh, anytime I get into that pity party, I go, oh my gosh, I'm 55, what? I wasn't predicted, my life almost got taken away several times. You see, when you get cancer at 42 and you're married and you have kids at home, it, and I was at the healthiest point of my life. I, I was a beach body coach. I was fit. I was doing everything right, drinking my water, eating good. I got my life back on track. And then all of a sudden, this just poof, knocked me for a loop. And one thing I can say is when I went into that cancer center and I saw all these people there that had far worse conditions than I did. Mine was stage one and they got it out and no lymph notes were affected. I realized at that point what a gift life is. And all of a sudden, you put your life into perspective. And you feel, for the first time sometimes, how important every part of your body is. How important it is to wake up and be alive. 
You know what I'm saying? And then there was a point in my life that I had to stop feeling sorry for myself and start fighting for my life. The gifts and the talents that I, only Ursula, has to offer this world. And then you get to just either feel bad about yourself and get into a pity party and start hating your life, yourself, or you get into this fight or flight and you want to live state of mind and then you fight to live and you do whatever you do you can to live for your children to live for everything that you've got going on and then there's a point of it that you have to remember for me I didn't think I'd ever be sexy again I thought my life was ruined for a little bit and then Something happened to where I started putting videos out on the internet and people responded and people liked them and people told me how they felt about me and people encouraged me to do subscription sites and other things to, so that I could get an income and feel like I was contributing. And I think what I'm saying is sometimes you have to fight deep within yourself to find out what's really important. And getting another year older is an extreme gift that some people don't get to get. Some people's lives are cut so short. Sometimes people lose their children before they're gone and different circumstances. And sometimes people aren't as lucky to have a second chance and to be able to do the things that they want to do. So whenever I get into that pity party and I think, oh my God, Ursula, you're, you're another year older. How are you going to keep up this sham of, of being sexy and all this that you do on the internet? And all these things that I have done, started a business doing behind the scenes without any confidence. I started with no confidence. I based it directly on what people said I should do with my life. And I have been doing that my whole life. What does Ursula want? Anything that anybody else wants. I'm okay with. When you're the baby, when you're the last born, you kind of develop a hand-me-down mentality. Um, what does everybody else want? What is everybody else cooking? What is everybody else doing? All of that. Um, sometimes you have to fight to find the things that are important to you and sometimes people never get it and sometimes people only get it when they're an empty nester and sometimes people only get it when they're divorced or their spouse dies and then they try to re remember what they like and what they don't like and what's going to make them happy and what's not going to make them happy and we can sink in this this ship of misery and pain and destruction and bring as many people as we can to join our pity party and destruction and gossip and hatred and before you know it all these bad things are happening to you and you wonder why good things happen to good people and sometimes vice versa bad things happen to good people or whatever like we are constantly attracting what we get in our life by the choices we make, by the attitudes we have, and by the words we say. You see, I've learned that words are like spells. When you say something that's evil and mean and hateful, 
to another. That's how you feel about yourself. That's really how you feel about yourself. Because if you loved yourself and felt great about yourself, those words wouldn't even be in your definition. They wouldn't even be, they wouldn't even be there. Because when we love and respect ourselves, we can only say loving, respectful words. And we can only be treated the way that we treat ourselves. You see, I'm learning. Sometimes it takes these years to search and wonder what the missing pieces to your puzzle are. And what is it going to take for you to finally be happy with aging and being you and, and knowing that age is just a number and that we don't have to succumb to that number, we can live a healthy, vital, beautiful, amazing life just because, just because. So for the rest of my life, because I have went through this healing journey and will be on it for the rest of my life, I want to bring clarity and words of power and words of love and words of peace to the world forever. I want to be the one that encourages people to keep going. She did it, so why can't I? But you can't learn unless you go through. We're all in different points of our life. Some of us are in sorrow. Some of us are in pain right now. Some of us are have just lost somebody. Some of us are dealing with whatever we're dealing with, a change in job, a change in health, a change of relationships. Whatever the case may be, at the end of the day, when you lay your head on your bed, are you happy with your decisions that you made today to make yourself better and to make others better? Are you happy with your decisions? And when I lay my head at night and I think about everything I've done, I have to be happy with it because it's created me to where I am right now. So to live in regret and to live in pain and sorrow and what if and should have, this should have worked and that should have worked and why did they treat me bad? And why don't I have a relationship with this person or that person? You're just gonna drive yourself crazy. So what if today you just sent everybody love? Sent all, everybody love. And then most importantly, sent yourself love. And then you wake up with this vibrance, like okay, I sent out love to all these people, and now what's it gonna take for me to be happy today? What do I need to do to keep myself healthy, to keep myself strong, to keep myself wealthy, to keep myself abundant, to keep myself ageless? What do I need to do? Because when you stop taking the focus off of everyone else and say, now what? Now what? I can't blame that one or this one or this one or that one. It is what it is. It happened. We're in different stages in our life, constantly evolving. That's why marriages of 30 years and 35 years and 20 years sometimes don't work. Because what you wanted in your 20s and what you want in your 50s is complete opposite. Unless you're growing together on the same team, there's always going to be sandpaper. So you have to know in life when to let things go that no longer serve you. And this is the hugest lesson, the biggest lesson I'm learning this year, is to let things go that no longer serve you, Ursula. It's okay. It's all right. Why are we holding on? To, and that's what this dress is. This dress still serves me. This dress I've had for probably since I started my YouTube channel 15 years ago. 
if it no longer served me, if it no longer fit, I would let it go. If I didn't like it, I would let it go. We get to let things go that no longer serve us. Holding on to the past, holding on to your mistakes, holding on to trauma, holding on to things that no longer serve us will keep us stuck in that low vibration of stuckness, of funkness, of sadness. What if you today, okay, I, I don't know if what she says will work. I, I'm, I'm kind of a skeptic because, you know, she's only a YouTube person and she takes her clothes off and, uh, you know, I don't know. How could, she, how could, you know, whatever. Like, don't we judge? Let go of the judging. What, what, who does it serve you to judge anybody? Have you lived their path? Have you crossed their, have you lived their life? Do you know what it takes to make a living in this world? Do you know how much money it costs to live in this world? We don't have any room to judge anybody, ever. So when you let go of the judgment and you let go of the, the cruelty in your words, and you let go of the, oh my God, I'm getting another year older, oh no. That's awful. And why don't you say, replace some a bad habit with a great habit is what I've learned. And I stick by that. What if you say, oh my gosh. You know, when I first moved into this house, I laid in bed and cried for the first month or so, not knowing how I was gonna pay for all this by myself. And who am I kidding? I, I had imposter syndrome. I thought I've never paid a mortgage in my life. I've never paid bill all these bills by myself, ever. Why am I in this situation? Well, nobody chooses to be in this situation, but if we have to, because we've outgrown another person, because we don't want to feel pain anymore, and we let it go and move forward, you're always going to be provided for. You're always going to be okay. And so when month after month came along and I could, I could pay my mortgage and I could pay my car payment and everything was always working out and I knew the hustle that it took to get there and I kept on working and I kept on learning and I kept on growing and I kept on developing my brand and doing it all by myself because I, I don't like to work with anybody. You have to know who you are. I work better by myself. I don't know how to delegate. So I like to be my own makeup, hair, everything. Is it perfect? No. Could it be, could my channel be better? Could it be more edited? Could it have all these special effects and wows and pops and everything? Yes, it could. And who knows, maybe someday if I feel led to do that, I will. But as of today, it's working for me because I'm still authentic Ursula. I'm still doing it the way that I've always done it, with the little quirks and jerks here and there and everything. It's still working for me. I still love doing YouTube. I'm grateful every day that I still have ideas that pop in my mind that I can talk about. I'm grateful that I still have an audience that actually listens to me. That's a miracle and I appreciate you. Like, and I just pray right now that whoever is supposed to see this video will see it and it's gonna change your life. Because once you watch this video, you're never going to want to be negative again. Because why would you? We waste so much energy on things we can't change anyway. We can't change what the world is doing. All the chaos. We can't change it. So why would you waste your energy trying to do things, all these things that you can't accomplish anyway, when it takes everything you got anyway just to get up, and focus on yourself and eat good food, prepare your good food, go on your walks, go to the gym, go on your vacations, live as if you're on a vacation every single day, call in your dream life. I say I'm, on I'm healthy, I'm wealthy, I'm wise, and I'm whole. I'm on vacation every single day. I get paid all throughout the day, and while I sleep, 
I get paid just for existing. And you just say these mantras over and over and over and over and over. And then you walk in that energy of that lifestyle. And many of you know I faked it till I made it. I, I pretended I was a model when I first started and walked next to my pool. Who was I? Nobody. I was a stay-at-home mom. I'm still just Ursula. What life do you want to create for yourself? And what's holding you back today? And what do you need to let go of? In the comments below, right? If anything, the first thing that pops in your mind, don't overthink it. My friends and I do this thing where we just sit down and we, we ask questions and we say, what's the first thing that pops in your mind? Are you gonna be retired in five years? Are you gonna live in your house? How long are you gonna be there? Are you gonna retire in your house? Whatever the questions, just whatever questions pop in your mind, and then you answer them with the first answer. Are you gonna be in a relationship again? Do you like being single? Um, how do you feel about yourself? Do you like to exercise? Whatever. Do I look good in long hair? Um, what kind of boyfriend do you want? Whatever, you know what I'm saying? Just ask the questions. First thing that pops up, do it, say it, release it, and then go about your day feeling blissful and happy and energetic and successful and powerful and amazing. And before you know it, women are in their feminine energy. I'm in my feminine energy. I'm oblivious to what's going on out there in the world half the time. I am in this bubble. I have put myself in this bubble since COVID of, I was already working from home. I was already separate from all the everything. I was already doing my own thing. And I've created this just being myself business, just being myself. So what gifts and talents do you have today? that you could implement that you would never feel like you have to work a day in your life. We each are created with gifts and talents and there's only one of you. So find your passion, find your purpose, find your bliss, find your love, find your people. I heard something the other day that said, you find a relationship, you find love based on how you feel about yourself. So evaluate the relationship you're in right now. Or is it, is it based on how you feel about yourself? Did you pick this person when you didn't feel good about yourself and now you feel like, oh my God, I'm stuck with them and you've evolved and you've developed and you've grown and you've outgrown that person and they're just still back here like, what about me? What about me? And you're just like elevating and going to a higher level. It's okay to say goodbye. Forever in my life, I will have relationships that if it's working and, and we're, we love each other and we're having fun and we're best friends, then great. Let's hang out. I call it just hanging out. You don't have to label anything. Um, I, am I having fun with you? Do I like the banter that we have back and forth? Is you know, is everything working, then great. Stay with the person and have fun. But don't put labels on it and marry them and get, make it all complicated because we do change. And then if you're together uh, forever and you don't have any paperwork involved with anybody else, just the two of you, then live your life. Who's to tell you? Back when my, when I was, back in my generation, we were to get married right away in our 20s. We would have babies. We were, that's all we knew. Nowadays, everybody's focusing on their career. Some people are choosing not to have kids and they're just living their best life, doing whatever they want. And there's nothing wrong with that. I think that that's what we gotta go back to. Stop all these rules and you have to go to college, you have to do that and start focusing on what can you do that nobody else can do better make it into a business, and live your best life. So on this message, my birthday message of 55, this is 55, guess what you guys? I'm still alive. 
and I'm still making YouTube videos and I'm still loving it. And so what can you do today that you love and focus on your positiveness? And if I want to grow my hair out at 55, whoop, 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 I can do it. There's no rules. I have no rules.